Hello dear students and welcome back to our new math class. Uh, this is week 12 and this is Mr. Abdul Manam and let's get it started. Uh, this lesson is 16-1 uh, and uh, it's under the title of lines. Lines. Um, I bet that this session is the easiest session you have ever watched before. Uh, here uh, we have uh, lines. Uh, do you remember uh, from the last uh, session that we mentioned the lines and line segments, rays, and all these terms? Uh, let's remember together we call this line, and we mentioned before that this is called line segment and this is called ray. In our today's session, we're going to be talking about this, the first one, line. Yes, we are going to be talking about lines and the relationships between two lines. If I have two lines, what the relations uh, between them? Uh, let's start. The first type is parallel lines. Parallel lines. Here in the parallel lines, they will never intersect. Uh, like your notebook's lines, they are never intersect. They are parallel lines. Like in the, up in your notebook, you will find these two lines. Uh, you will find all the lines parallel lines. Parallel lines not intersect. Here, if the lines come together and they attach it together in one point or touch each other like this. The intersecting line. Second type is intersecting line like this. The third type or the last type is called perpendicular. Perpendicular lines, they are intersecting lines like this. Look here. Like this. They are intersecting in this point. They are intersecting line in certain point like this, but the angles between them, all of them right angles, right angles 90 degrees. Uh, so right now we learned we have only three types. The first one, parallel line, second type is called intersecting line, the last one is called perpendicular line. And uh, here let's start to answer our examples of uh, these lines. Uh, we have here this diagram and we have, uh, we call this, um, we give every part, each, each part uh, uh, a letter. We have here uh, W, X, Y, Z. Uh, we have many questions. The first question, please give us four points. Four points. Second question, we have another question called, uh, give us four lines, give us two parallel lines and two perpendicular lines. Uh, here we have four points. Where are the four points? Yes, I have this point W, another point X, another point Y, another point Z. We have X, W, X, Y, Z. Another four lines. I need four lines. You have already four lines. I have the first line which is called W, Y. W, Y. You can call it also Y, W. Whatever we start, no problem. Uh, we can call, uh, call another one. We have W, X. It's another line. We have a third line, X, Z. We have X, Z. We have also Y, Z. We have four lines, W, X. And this means line. Uh, we have here W, X. W, Y. We have X, Z. It's another line. Uh, we have Y, Z. They are four lines. Already they are four lines. Now we answer the question four points. So easy to put the four points. Four lines, we answer the four lines. 
Right now we have uh, question number five, name four, uh, sorry, two parallel lines. Parallel lines. Let's remember together where are the parallel lines. Yes, this shape is called parallel line. Now we want four, two parallel lines. I, I, I know two parallel lines. If I have W, Y, and X, Z, they are parallel. If I have WX, WX is a line, and YZ, it's another line, they are parallel lines. So, for example, can choose a WY, the first line, and XZ, another pa parallel line, they are parallel together. It's standing like this upward upright here and this upright line so we have this vertical line and this vertical line we have another two we have uh, WX here and YZ they are parallel lines and last question here we want to two perpendicular perpendicular let's remember what's perpendicular here perpendicular give you this shape. Two lines give you this shape and give you a right angle. We have more than two. We have here X, Z and Y, Z. They are perpendicular and here is right angles. You can choose another. We can choose X, W and W, Y. They are perpendicular. You can choose W, Y and Y, Z. They are perpendicular. You can choose any two. We have more as we mentioned. We have here W, Y and W, X. W, Y and W, X. Here we have they are perpendicular lines. They cut each other this part. And we have another perpendicular, yes, we have WX and XZ, WX, it's a first line, it's like this, horizontal, and we have another, per, perpendic we have this line is perpendicular, because it's vertical and this horizontal, and they are intersecting in this point, and this point is right angle. Here in this corner we have all of them right angles. We have another easy question. Uh, what the relation right here between these two lines? Who said? Yes, perfect the person who said parallel line. What the relation here? Perfect, perpendicular lines. Uh, who can answer what the what this? Yes, perfect. It's a point. So easy. We have another question number 10 right now. What the relation between these two roots? If we imagine that they are two lines. Perpendicular. All of these corners are right angles. And here this line is a vertical line and this horizontal line. They are perpendicular. They intersecting right here in this point, and you have four right angles. What's the relation right here between these two roots? Remember, remember your notebook and the lines inside this notebook. Parallel lines. The last question right now and our today's session. Uh, what the relation right here between these two lines? I have this line. Look at the arrow here, and the second line right this this line. Yes, they are intersecting here in this point, and no right angles, no right angles. Yes, we can call it intersecting line. So our relation today, uh, we, uh, our session today about the relations between uh, two lines, we have perpendicular lines, parallel lines, intersecting lines, 
please remember and answer the homework and send it to me. Thanks so much for watching this video and see you in the next session. Thanks so much.